So we're gonna jump right into what we're gonna do for our 2018-2019 homeschooling curriculum and what our schedule looks like a little bit. So this is a little bit different video. Um, I have been asked to do a homeschooling curriculum video. So our curriculum's actually changed quite a bit this year than what we've been doing the past couple of years. So the past couple of years, we did a really eclectic homeschooling. So we used lots of different websites. We used Easy Peasy, Khan Academy, Virtual Academy, um, Georgia Virtual Academy, I mean. Um, we used lots of different books, so there wasn't any really um, like one type of curriculum that I went by. I picked out pieces that were just the best for each of my individual children, which we're still kind of sticking to that this year in our 2018-2019 school year. However, we have switched it up a little bit. We will no longer be doing eclectic homeschooling. We are actually starting to follow the Charlotte Mason homeschooling program. And I'm very excited to make this change with the kids. The more and more that I research Charlotte Mason, the more that I believe it's in line with what we want for our family, what our family values are, and just how we view education for our kids. Um, we've been asked many, many times why we homeschool, and we homeschool because that's the type of education that we want for our children, and it's worked out best for our children. It doesn't have anything to do with our view on public school versus private school versus homeschool, none of that. We just believe that homeschooling is the best fit for our kids. So we're gonna jump right into what we're gonna do for our 2018-2019 homeschooling curriculum and what our schedule looks like a little bit. Okay, so the first big change from what we were doing last year is we are using a lot more books this year. A lot of our things were done online. The problem with doing things online is when the internet goes down, you're pretty stuck and you're having to catch up. And I really didn't like that part of what we were doing in our homeschool is if the internet went out or if the electricity went out for the day or if anything happened or if we needed to go somewhere, we were really tied to the computer and I wanted to be able to change that. So we are, this is just a taste of some of the literature that we're using this year. Um, and I'll touch on a couple of things in here that are different than what we've done before. Um, and kind of explain what's going on. But these are just some of the books we're gonna be using. So for some of the younger kids, we're gonna be doing St. George and the Dragon. And then, of course, Peter Pan. Now, Zane's already done Peter Pan, but some of the younger kids have not gone through this. Um, Charlotte's Web is what we're gonna be introducing. And most of this is for our literature and free read programs. The Velveteen Rabbit, which this is my all-time favorite children's story. I love the message in this story. It was just so beautifully written. So if I had to pick any children's story, and it was the only children's story that I could ever read to my kids, The Velveteen Rabbit would be the children's story that I would pick for them. We're going to be doing, and this is gonna be for all grades this year, the original Winnie the Pooh, because there are some others in the series that go to some of the older kids. So as they're first getting in, they do what's called the pre-7 program. So each year goes along and then it goes into like high school years. And so they do the pre-7 year and make sure that they are all caught up on any of the most important literature for the Charlotte Mason program. So we're gonna do that with the high schoolers and they're gonna sit in and listen to this during free read time. This is something else I'm utilizing. This is not part of the Charlotte Mason program, but it's part, it is part of it. Um, it's just not one of the suggested books. My mom gave me this a while ago. It's called Crafts for Kids, a month by month idea book. And so we're gonna go in here. It has simple and basic cooking for younger kids. Um, and it has all different kinds of crafts. So as part of our handy crafts time, which is part of the Charlotte Mason program, we're gonna be utilizing this to find some ideas. And I have some other ideas that we're gonna do. Um, the kids are gonna be learning knitting and sewing, embroidering, crocheting. Um, I'd like them to learn some woodworking this year. So lots of different handy crafts this year. So there's all kinds of things that we're gonna look into. And if the kids have any suggestions for handy crafts, we're gonna look at how to do that and bring those things in for them too. So there's gonna be a lot of changes when it comes to the hands-on and I actually think this year it's gonna be a lot more hands-on than it has previous years. 
one of the other things that we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using the Bible. So I had for a long time wanted to bring in some, getting my kids to learn the Bible, the history of the Bible, stuff like that. And so we're bringing that in for the kids because I think if they have a basis off of this, then any other religions that they wanna look into or study, they've already got the basis from this. This is what I know the best so I can teach them the best. And then any other religious studies they want to pick up, they can, and they already have that one base covered. So that's something else that we're bringing in this year. One of the things that's going to be a little bit different, I had kind of started this with the Who Was program that I was doing, and it was books that tell the life story of different characters throughout history, different people, different places, different things. And one of the things of the Charlotte Mason program is to do uh, stories of people's lives. And so Benjamin Franklin is one that we're going to be covering this year. And I believe Buffalo Bill, uh, Pocahontas, and I'm trying to think who the other one was. George Washington. Part of what we're going to do with that is to bring in some activities that bring things about these people to life. So that are either from the point in time that they're from, maybe something they invented. So for Benjamin Franklin, we're gonna be learning a little bit about electricity. We're going to be making a kite. Um, what's the other, oh, and we're gonna make a puppet. So they get to do a craft with that. They're gonna to get to make a puppet and put Benjamin Franklin together. And so I think for the reason I picked that one for one of our activities to do before we read his story, I want them to get to know these people a little bit better by creating something that has to do with them. So part of the reason that we're making a Benjamin Franklin puppet is because then they get to see sort of the style of clothing that he wore and what his hair color was and things like that. So I think they're gonna have a lot of fun with that type of stuff this year and I'm super excited to get to do this with them. Um, so we have a lot of different classes that we're gonna be bringing in with the Charlotte Mason program. Now, I showed you those books that I have and I have a few more that I have to order. There were a few books that I either didn't have in the library or I could not find online. I didn't have in my personal library. And I think there was, I have a list of what I need to order. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight books that I need to get. I think four of those are immediate books that I need to get that I don't have and are not available online for me to get. But that's the other cool part of this program is what I was doing before was a completely free program, but this is very close to a completely free program. A lot of these things can be found in your library. Some of the older books cannot be found in the libraries, um, but there's other resources, so I'm gonna show you that. I took my iPad, and if you have a Kindle, you can do this too. I'm not sure about um, non-iPads, like tablets and stuff, but you can just download the Kindle app, so I did. And in here, I was able to download almost every book except for about eight. What's it saying? Stay connected. Okay, not right now. Notifications. Anyway, I was able to download just about every book I would need for their curriculum. There was not very many that I couldn't, so I think I found a lot of them online through Amazon. I know there's some other sites now. I have not used it. Thriftbooks.com is one that I was going to look into, but I need some of these books faster, and I was afraid if I went through there, because I don't know how fast their shipping is, that I wouldn't have them in the time that I need them. So this time I'm going to order from Amazon, but next time I'm going to try Thriftbooks.com, because I know I could get a lot of those books super cheap. But yeah, I have a whole list of books that I needed, and so some of them are things like, for science and nature study, you have... Uh, Burgess's Bird Book, there's the Nature Study Book, um, Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling, King of the Golden River. This one's for one of the for the older kids, The Princess and the Goblin, um, the Red Fairy Book, The Adventures of Pinocchio, so the Blue Fairy Book, Tales from Shakespeare. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can find free online. And I actually went to Ambleside.com because they had a free curriculum of Charlotte Mason and it gives you all the links to these free books. It also shows you where you can find the ones that you may not be able to get for free. But I was able to find some of the books actually for a little bit cheaper through some different sites like Amazon. So 
because I could get free shipping. Anyway, this is a little bit about our schedule and how it looks. So the big change in our day is it's a lot more structured. It's not, okay, as soon as we finish this, then we'll just move on to this. This is we're spending a certain amount of time each day in these subjects. So um, we do, like on Monday, we'll do scripture, Bible verse, um, 50 famous stories for history. Uh, we're going to do a composer study, some copy work or cursive if they're in cursive. We're going to do French for our foreign language. So we're starting with French, then we're moving into German, and then I believe Latin and Greek are the ones. So some of my older kids may not get all those foreign languages in, but they'll at least get the French in for their foreign language credit for high school. And like Skylar wants to study Japanese, so I'm going to give him a program where he can do that on his own and learn the Japanese that he wants to learn that way. Um, and then we have literature, so we'll on Mondays be studying out of Aesop's Fables. For the older kids, we're gonna be doing The Princess and the Goblin. Then we have, we also have snack time scheduled in, and that's a little bit earlier in the day in between these classes. We have some lunch and outside play. Then we're gonna be doing some science. So we're working from different books to do science as well as doing nature study. And then there's math. Now math is the only thing I did not go with the Charlotte Mason program on. And part of it is because I don't know enough about it. So I am gonna look more into it, maybe so more for Aspen, but using the Easy Peasy and the Khan Academy sites has worked best for my grade schoolers and my high schoolers. So we're gonna stick with what I know is working really well because I have one child that has dyscalculia, that's T. So switching her program is not a good idea. And we've done some videos on like how to work with dyscalculia and stuff like that, things that we do with that before. So if you wanna check those out, you can. Um, but yeah, our math program is gonna stay the same. Also, our history and our science program at this point for the high schoolers is staying with, um, we actually switched from Georgia Virtual and we went into Khan Academy for them. So last year we were doing Georgia Virtual and this year I realized that there's a lot of resources through Khan Academy, there's tests, there's stuff like that. So I wanna make sure that they're getting the mathematics that they need to be able to get their high school credits. So, and I know they can get these through the Charlotte Mason program, but because of where they're starting, I just feel more, com more comfortable at this point leaving them where they are. Um, especially for science. History, I know I can cover with Charlotte Mason, but I'm really gonna leave that up to, and I know I can cover it with the younger kids with Charlotte Mason. I'm just not sure taking my high schoolers who are older into science now at this point, how that would work for them. So, um, but with Braxton, he'll stick to a Charlotte Mason program and the younger kids because I know they'll get everything that they need throughout the next few years of schooling and the years of homeschooling that they'll get. Um, what else are we doing? And then of course we have reading instruction, some free read time, handicrafts, and then some more outside play. So there's some big changes. There's lots of different classes. They'll be doing geography. Um, what else isn't? Because they're not doing everything every day. They do do the main things like language arts and um, science, math, history, literature. They do those every single day. Foreign language we do every day except for, I think, Wednesdays because we're doing geography then. Um, but some of the classes like, I'm trying to see, composer study, picture study, um, they're gonna be studying folk songs, habits, so we're doing some parables. We're working on habits because that was a big part of Charlotte Mason's teachings, was teaching children habits for life. So that's another class that we'll be having, and then they're gonna be learning some hymns and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited to try out the Charlotte Mason program this year. I think it's gonna be a really good fit for our family, and I really like the way that it brings using some classic literature to teach children what they need to know. So, and we're also gonna be doing a lot of hands-on work, so I'm excited to bring you along on that journey with us on some of the hands-on stuff that we're gonna be doing to teach the kids different science experiments, stuff like that. So, this should be a fun, fun year. Anyway, that's just a little touch on the curriculum that we're gonna be using and somewhat of the schedule that we'll be using. I'm sure some of it may need to be tweaked because this is our first year using it. 
um, to see how it works for our family and how we can get everything to fit in. We may be able to condense some things together. I don't know yet, but I just put together a basic plan of our day along the side. So hopefully it all falls into place the way I expect it to. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you liked a little look into this year's homeschooling journey. Mm -hmm.